This is Paul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For any individual that gets served a summons. Yeah. For dissolution of marriage. <laughs> uh, you better have a pretty good darn re good reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why you do not consent. <laughs> but I think I had a valid reason. Yeah. Do not consent. A United Nations marriage certificate. Yeah. Now, um, that's something where the judge would have wanted to see a copy of it. Yes, the original, uh -huh. since she had the original. Poop. But I think it is the right of the respondent to not consent to personal jurisdiction. Uh -huh. um, and then there's that other there for the reason why you do not consent. Poop. Now, United Nations marriage certificate. Uh -huh. Um. I don't think I had to accept service of anything involving the dissolution of marriage. Mm -hmm. Everything was fraud. From the time of the arrest and the serving of the dissolution of marriage. Yeah. The summons and petition in this action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Proposed order of child support. Proposed child support worksheets. Proposed parenting plan. Yeah. Financial declaration. And any of the other documents that were included. <coughs> <coughs> Now, uh, acceptance of service, Paul C. Budnick, yeah, does not accept service of any of these documents, mm -hmm. does not consent to personal jurisdiction, other United Nations marriage certificate. <clears throat> now, you, the petitioner, would have to take that to the judge, yes, and the judge would have to make sure that they do have personal jurisdiction, yeah, and if they don't, right now! then they can't hear the case. Mm -hmm. It would have been stopped right there. Pooh. Now, uh, when you arrest somebody at the same time as serving them a dissolution of marriage, yeah, you remove their right to not consent, you remove their right to not accept service, yes, and then you removed all their rights. Mm -hmm. Now, for all the other additional court hearings after the time of the actual service, yeah, all fraudulent. Ouch!